Hello, I'm Brianna Wright in the WFT Newsroom. For Wednesday, April 5th, here's your News in 90. A Florida police lieutenant is home recovering after a burglary. Security cameras caught the fight early Sunday morning inside a jewelry store. Alerted to a break-in by an alarm company, Lieutenant William Weldon noticed broken glass at the store. The suspect, 23-year-old Isaac Debon, is jailed this morning. He faces a long list of criminal charges. Voters in Ferguson, Missouri re-elected Mayor James Knowles on Tuesday in the first election since the fatal shooting of Michael Brown in 2014. Knowles defeated City Council member Ella Jones, who would have been the city's first black mayor had she been elected. 37-year-old Knowles campaigned on a promise to continue changes in police reform. The fear now that Knowles has won for a third term is that nothing will change. An Oregon senator is going all out to protest Supreme Court nominee Neil Gorsuch. Democratic Jeff Merkley has staged an overnight protest on the Senate floor. He began speaking around 7 p.m. on Tuesday, criticizing his Republican colleagues over the refusal to hold a vote on Judge Merrick Garland during the administration of President Obama. Merkley says he will continue to speak as long as he can. Residents of St. Petersburg, Russia, continue to pay respect to those who have lost their lives in Monday's terrorist attack. 14 people were killed and dozens were injured in the suicide bombing on a subway train. Russia's top investigative team says six people have been arrested in suspicion of aiding terrorist activities. That's your News in 90. Thanks for watching.